Good morning. I decided that I would do my design design team project while you watched. First time I've done that, but anyway, let's go. So I've made the cover out of an ice cream cone box. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a light sand to take the shiny stuff off before I collage it. with a baby wipe, get all the sanding dust away, and that is going to drive me insane, there, there, I'm going to use oh if I can get it open, I'm going to use matte medium, I think I just broke a nail instead of opening the lid, Oh dear. Take that out of the Okay. Now and use matte medium. Paint it on. Oh uh, yeah. I like to save everything that is usable in some way. When my children were in primary school, one of them won a prize for doing an environmental game. And she is still very much an environmentalist. She lives on a property and she uh, she's in the green. She used to march in Amnesty International marches on Palm Sunday. I'm not sure she does that anymore, but she did when she was a young one. When she was young. So, put that one on that corner there, because I think that makes a pretty corner on the front. Making sure I do the edge as well. And this one, I'm going to put up there. The top of the front there. See my lovely protection there? A little out of some rice bubbles or something similar. And I had big trouble yesterday with my printer. I've got a new computer and it didn't recognise the printer. And then after all the mucking around trying to print out the pages for this design team project, I uh, ran out of ink. So I'm going to use the bits that I ran out of to collage this page. That's first layer. And the kit is called Nostalgia. So, as it turns out, there are some lovely butterflies in it, as well as lace. And butterflies always feature in my work. They started featuring, oh gosh, after we went to... Um, the Dane Tree, and we went for a tour around the uh, a coffee plantation that's not there anymore, but it was then. And flying around with these butterflies that were nearly as big as birds, they were huge, and they were just beautiful. Ulysses. So, of course. When the opportunity arose for me to buy myself a, a sarong piece from a market on the Dane Tree, covered in screen printed Ulysses butterflies, I bought that and used it on the skirt on a dress that I made with punch needle embroidered butterflies on the top and I've made lots of quilts with Ulysses on it 
it became the symbol of my website when I made quilts. I just loved the Ulysses. Then I found out after Paul was killed that it's a symbol of new life because it goes through metamorphosis. Starts off as a caterpillar, goes in to the cocoon, and uh, a presto completely transforms into a beautiful butterfly. from liquid to a butterfly and wouldn't it be fun if we could do that especially at the moment could metamorphose I suppose is the word ourselves so I'm not doing a regular um, collage or straight lines etc because I'm just like to cover the pages I don't know what they're like it doesn't really matter as long as all, every part of the thing is covered that's all that matters every part of the base oh the ink's coming off there whatever's in that uh, <laughs> whatever's in the that medium and whatever the ink's made out of are having a chemical reaction. I have tried and tried to dilute, to wet down and use the printouts for interesting uh, dye materials? No. So at the moment, guess what they're doing? It's diluting. Interesting. Don't like that there. I'll get rid of it. After I've put something over the top of it, it's not going to come off, is it? I have matte medium in my studio because I actually paint. I haven't done any for a while, but I do paint with acrylics and with some watercolour crayon that I then use matte medium in water to activate. And that makes them... able to be painted over or written over later because they once it dries they're like a, an acrylic paint then something there Now this one I inked around yesterday because I got some inks from Kaiser Craft in my order that finally arrived. And uh, I um, had a little play with the colours to see what they were. So that's why that one had ink around it. And it'll probably be the only one, but however, I will put some stamping on. There's bubbling going on here. That's pretty, isn't it?
I often use collage on the base of my big paintings to put backgrounds on. And usually they go through what is called the awkward stage paintings and other creations do. And the awkward stage is where you hate it. <laughs> you absolutely hate it because it doesn't look like what's in your head. But what you've got to remember is you haven't finished. You're still going. You've got to wait for the next part of the proceedings. You've got to cover that up. Don't like that at all. It's a bit much in that. It's a bit dark. Put that on. Yeah, I think that's where to put it. Up there. Thank goodness it's not hot weather, although it's freezing here today. It does snow here sometimes when it's extremely cold. It snows up on the little mountain above town that they call Old Baldy because there's nothing growing on it. Actually, I don't know what its real name is. That's a bit... I should do something about that. I should find out what it's called. Everybody just calls it old baldy. Now, I used to do crazy quilting. And I used to teach people how to do it too. And I used to tell them that this is the first layer. And collage is a bit like crazy quilting. You make your base, it's really weird looking. It doesn't look like anything you think you're ever going to like. But once it's decorated and enhanced, it looks special. So this. It's also going to look special down the track. <clears throat> Excuse me. Very nice. There's also quite a bit of lace in this. So I'm going to put lace on this cover. There is a cover that comes in the kit with a good bit of lace across it, but I hope my head hasn't been in that and I hope I haven't been out of the shot. I'm terrible at that. Absolutely terrible at it. Need <clears throat> a piece there. A little bit of this hair dyed paper. find that interesting that all that um, ink is coming off there. You have no idea how many times I tried and tried to get that to happen with no success at all. And a little bit of opening there. Watched Andrea do it on um, Arty Mays with uh, oh, prints that were faulty, like I had with those yesterday. They didn't print properly, or she ran out of ink, or whatever. And uh, the result was that the, the ink no, um, dissolved, and then there was pretty colours. Uh, do, 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 do. Right, there. there were pretty colours then that went through to the next page that she had layered up. I leaned forward again just because I can't see very well. 
<laughs> can go the autometrist on account, but I need to. My eyes have deteriorated quite a bit lately, and uh, these little glasses I've got on here is just not doing it. Not doing it. Okay, I've only got a couple of bits to go now. So I think I'm going to put some of that up there. But I might need... After it dries, I will be um, I will be putting stamping. and probably some gesso over the top a sort of a la Andrea I suppose really because that's what she does but I'm not a stranger to collage because I have been doing it for a lot of years I said underneath my big canvases I do a collage layer most often. Now it's time to let that dry and I'm going to do another little collage. I've got something on everything. Yes it does. I'm going to collage that actually, you know what, I think I'm going to collage it onto the side of a piece of my, I had a hand dyed this yesterday with tea and then I used one of my watercolour crayons and uh, activated it and used that for the pink you see and I was really pleased with the color tones and I'll show you a couple of the pages in a minute from the kit now I'm going right to the edge because the pages will be smaller I'm just making a smallish journal this time, not using an altered book. There we go, look at that. That's so pretty. And I have some more journal. Tails, they're gorgeous. Yep. I'll put that on there, parts of that. Might put that on the front actually. Anyway, this is why I couldn't get it open earlier. Because I had something stuck in there and I will just wipe it off. 
then unpeel it from in there and then close it up. Right. I'll be back in a moment while I prepare another lot of something to collage as well. Okay, I'm back and I have here some parts of a really pretty serviette with little really wagtails on it and a previously collaged pages that I have, whoops a daisy that I have done collage like you just watched me do. Then I have stamped, painted, etc. Over the top of it. And so I think those little gorgeous birds will be lovely on there. some words and perhaps a butterfly cut out or something on there maybe some lace My friend gave me some, lots of pretty napkins. She sort of collects napkins. And uh, I don't think I can take that off there, but I might get lucky. I don't mind a bit of texture on the base of a painting that I... Perhaps I don't want texture on here as much there. That might be better. So now leave those to dry. I'll show you what happens to them tomorrow. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.